Hello, and did you know sound cannot travel in space? But sci fi shows like Apple TV Plus's For All Mankind make up for it with awesome background scores. For All Mankind drops on Apple TV Plus February 19th, 2021. On a side note, I used to think that saying 2020 was fun, but after that bitter year, I think we can all agree that saying 2021 is way much more fun. Looking forward to positive things in 2021, the place from where this phrase for all mankind comes from comes to mind. It is taken from the plaque which was affixed to Apollo 11's landing module. The complete inscription says, here men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon July 1969. We come in peace for all mankind. The first season started with the Russians beating America in the space race and putting the first man and woman on the moon. This show's take on alternate history stresses a lot on gender equality, which is a great thing to have in today's turbulent times. Season 1 of this sci-fi alternate history show was set in 1960s America, while the upcoming season 2 is going to be set in the 1980s. The alternate Earth that this series depicts is slightly more scientifically advanced than what the world was in reality in the 1980s. As can be expected from modern TV series, the production values are quite excellent. Quite a lot of the action is set on the moon and those sequences are pretty cool. On that note, please help me launch my channel by tapping that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell to send me over the moon. And now for the most important question. Should you watch For All Mankind Season 2? I think you will like it if you like watching realistic sci-fi that also tackles some wider human societal level issues like nuclear disarmament and gender equality. You might also appreciate it if you like high octane, very tense situational communism versus capitalism dramas set in 1980s America. And if you like space exploration and lunar missions like the recently allowed NASA Artemis mission as well as SpaceX plans to take humans to the moon and beyond low earth orbit, then you will enjoy this show immensely. Having seen season 1, personally I would like them to pace the story faster and not focus so much on the astronauts drama. And if you want that kind of stuff, you can head over to Disney and watch the right stuff. It'll be awesome Max if you join me when I live stream the first episodes of the second season of For All Mankind dropping on February 19th, 2021 on Apple TV+. Add Astra, fellow humans who want humanity to go beyond the confines of our fragile and precious planet. Let's learn from the disaster year that was 2020 and keep those things in mind while we look forward to a better future for the upcoming generations, whether it's eco-friendly travel or sustainable development or simply being kind onto one another, as Stephen Fry used to say when he used to host QI. A big thank you to my new subscribers, welcome to Open Darbar and let's make the world a better place, not just in 2021, but in all the years to come.